an interesting tidbit from the disastrous Brock Lesnar vs Goldberg match at WrestleMania 20 in Madison Square Garden has come out. WWE Hall of Famer Jim Ross opened up about the infamous match where Stone Cold Steve Austin was the special guest referee. In the end, Goldberg defeated Brock Lesnar and both the men, both of the megastars were booed out of the building because fans in attendance knew that both men were about to leave WWE after the match. Stone Cold Steve Austin hit stunners on both Brock Lesnar and Goldberg and was cheered by the capacity crowd. At this point, fans are aware that Brock Lesnar was tired of WWE's incredibly hectic schedule and it was a major reason why he wanted to leave WWE and try his hand at the NFL. Brock Lesnar managed to convince Vince McMahon to let him go after WrestleMania 20. Initially, Vince McMahon had booked Brock Lesnar to go over Goldberg. But Vince's mind changed after Brock Lesnar made it clear that he didn't want to wrestle anymore. So as per Jim Ross, Brock Lesnar was upset, he was angry about the payday he received for this match. What was Brock Lesnar's payday? He received a whopping $250,000 for that 14-minute match. A match that's considered by many fans as one of the worst in the history of WWE. Goldberg received $250,000 as well. Goldberg didn't complain, but Brock Lesnar wasn't happy one bit. Jim Ross stated on his podcast, Grilling JR, that Brock Lesnar had a talk with him over phone. Lesnar told Jim Ross that he felt that WWE was screwing him over by giving him just $250,000 for that match and he wanted more. Jim Ross made it clear to Brock Lesnar that WWE wasn't screwing him over and he got what he deserved. Brock Lesnar then hung up on JR. Lesnar left WWE immediately after WrestleMania 20 in Madison Square Garden. He unfortunately couldn't make it in the NFL due to his bike accident. He tried making his way back to the WWE but didn't agree to Vince McMahon terms. He then made a name for himself in the UFC and finally made his WWE return after WrestleMania 28 in 2012, attacking John Cena in the process. 